this is Bond Diesel, and I am bringing you my thoughts on the Ubi Day presentation that Julian Garrity did. First, he talked about the map of DC having more areas than the original game, the Division 1, that basically only had commercial and some residential areas. Division 2, DC, we're going to have suburbs, nature, residential, commercial, and government, and historical areas. Recording of ambient sounds were done in DC, but since they were so loud, even at night there, they actually went to Chernobyl to help try to bring some cool ambiance to the game. Snowdrop has imported LiDAR and GIS information to help make the city a one-to-one -one recreation, even more so than New York was in the first game. The Washington Metro slash the underground areas concept was art was shown and Julian talked about how there's many secrets that will be down there. Uh, he showed the concept art of Roosevelt Island with a crash Marine one helicopter. If you don't know what that is, it's the presidential transport that you'll often see presidents in the United States getting onto just off of the white house grounds. He talked about the commercial areas in the game, probably having stores that have been looted as we saw in the division one but there also being stores that aren't looted that we need to collect supplies for for the civilians. He did reinforce and talked again about how the Division 2 map is about 20% larger than the Division 1. He confirmed the Lincoln Memorial as a mission location. He talked about Roosevelt Island and how it was used as a quarantine. It showed concept art of one of these quarantine stations. He then reinforced that We'll have to just find out what actually happened on there, on that island, once the game comes out. He showed some stuff about the White House and talked about how it was severely damaged and how it needs to be rebuilt by the agents. He talked about the Air and Space Museum, about how it was an armory during the event, and then how now it's an extreme place of interest for both the Shade agents and all of the enemy factions. He confirmed that there will be more DZ information released in December. He confirmed that Keener will be in the game in some capacity. And he confirmed that there were a rough date of the beta coming in uh, early 2019. I believe he said January. So what do I think of all this? We've heard a lot of this stuff before. The little tidbit about Chernobyl was really cool in my opinion. Um, we also saw a map, a more accurate map, which I've updated my community map. You can find links for that on my Twitter. Um, it, it added a few areas. One big area it added that wasn't previously in the map was Union Station. That could be a place. It's a very big, cool historical building, and I really can't wait to jump in there and mess around. Um, talking about things like Roosevelt Island, it's interesting in the map. There's actually no connection between the main map and Roosevelt Island. So I'm really hoping it's not going to be a Brooklyn type of deal where we're only going to get to play there at the very beginning and then we leave and never go back. As much as people ask for the ability to go back to Brooklyn, I highly suspect they aren't going to do that again, but who knows? We'll see. Um, talking about how it's, the map is larger. Honestly, I don't care if the map's larger. I think that's great. That's cool. But it needs to be much more full of activities and things to do this time. The current New York map could be half the size with the things that we have to do, um, and it'd be fine. So this larger map, that's great, but I really hope we have five times more activities to do in it. Maybe unrealistic, but I can dream, right? Talk about the White House slightly confirms some of those rumors that we saw on the Brazilian Ubisoft channel and some other places that talked about how the boo will probably be located in the White House, and as the single-player campaign goes on, you'll be building it back up unconfirmed maybe completely wrong maybe it's something else entirely who knows i can't wait to find out talk about the dz information in december i suspect that they're trying to wait until right before the beta comes out to talk about the dz so people don't lose their lose their mind and get their panties in a bunch and so that they can hear about it cry for a few weeks and then we can jump in and see what it's really going to be like keener confirmed for the game well i think that was kind of obvious and the beta in January actually surprises me. I honestly thought we would get it earlier because it appears right now we have a private, a closed, and I would guess we'll have an open beta. And if that's all supposed to happen in January and February, uh, maybe March as well, that seems like a short amount of time to actually fix anything, but we'll have to see. Uh, there's also likely going to be an alpha test that certain people will be invited to. 
but you know they probably won't be able to talk about it so we probably won't even know that's all i have for this video let me know what you think was there anything i missed do you have any thoughts do you agree with me disagree with me on my opinions on it let me know i'm happy to hear it this was bond diesel and until next time